So now this starts a journey of her being um, more about the Church of Night than she ever was. Um, and if ever you thought Sabrina was forthright before or um, uh, rebellious or strong-minded, this is another level of it. Um, so uh, even you'll see even Hilda try to get her head around this shift because Hilda has often been, Zelda and Sabrina bat heads a lot, but um, Hilda has often been the one to allow her to do her path really and, and you'll see even Hilda go, Jesus, like that's a lot, um, and try to come to terms with it and try to um, do her, stick with her motto of this is Sabrina's life and she should be able to do it how she wishes. That's uh, challenging at times for Hilda as well. Well, we see more of Hilda kind of coming into her own. We have to so. save everyone in the finale. I think so. The, I, I've, I've just done an episode where uh, it surprised me what something, that, uh, an action that Hilda took in order to help Zelda. And, um, uh, <coughs> and I was kind of pleased with it. And then I was like, oh, that's big though, isn't it? Um, <laughs> I wonder what she did. Um, but I quite like that because I like her being the... Bit, kind of a bit like me. I've gone through a little journey in my life of like being that person where probably un, unknown to others or not asked for by others, I've plonked myself in the middle of a situation thinking that it's of use or of help to somebody, maybe it's family or friends. And, um, and then as I've got older in life, I've learnt that if someone doesn't ask you for help, it, it, it isn't always the nice thing just to bestow it. So, um, and so I've moved away a little from that. And, and the understanding of you can't help someone if they don't want to be helped. And so I think with that, Hilda's also sort of doing it a little bit. She's, she's a helper, but she's also having her own life um, and, and doing some things that in the past Zelda would have said no to and she would have probably just obeyed but she's doing it less now.